use it? It's just a lot of noise. Stupid. Stupid noise. Gonna make you beg for death, boy. Fuck you, you inbred motherfucker. You're funny, Snowflake. Real fucking funny. And our intruder. I'm stuck. Suck and tag me. Meat Quality's gone way down. Huh? Young people today are preoccupied with things that don't matter. was able to get me out of going to Nam, pulled some strings. That you could be Coast fucking God. certain of. But it was my mama's dying wish that I go to college. And I'm not a man who goes against his mother. You never see it coming! I'm 
my way. I got the front. Got you out of my cell. like this. Out of the way! in Frisco and I could use some supplies. Be out directly. I'm in Frisco. Get somebody to take this cash off me. Be there soon. Do you fought anything you can use? Need to make a deposit, Sugar? Let me see what you got. Dundee? And he says, Tucker, clean up on aisle five. <laughs> they sure got some money up here, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> You're not supposed to be back here. If I anybody else here? Ah. Got in here. Ah. Huh? Hey, look. Ah. He's got a gun. How's Chester Moreau make his money? Oh, Get your belly ass supermarket. Thanks, Wayne. Yeah, There's something going on there after hours. Whatever it is, Mr. Moreau's trying to keep it real quiet. I'm a good time. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. out, I call the shots. Gun. That's a gun. 
Hi. Did you learn anything? Hit those bastards pretty hard, and all I got was a single word. Bel Air. Hmm. You know something? That tracks. Moreau is the majority owner of Bel Air Supermarket. As soon as you started hitting those racist assholes, the phones lit up. No one mentioned the Bel Air by name, but I did get a time. 10 p.m. And enough circumstantial evidence to tie it all together. Whatever's going on, it's happening at that supermarket tonight. I'll look into it. Lincoln, listen. The thing some of those guys were hinting at, it's bad. Real bad. So go in quiet. We need to find out exactly what Moreau is up to, and we won't get another chance. You got it, Jackie. in his sleep. I'm trying, trying not to strangle the boy. Hey, thanks for coming. How you doing, partner? They were a little north of here, up near the old Duval place, driving along, minding their business. I don't like this. We should leave. It's all right, baby. I'll keep you safe. Anyhow, Billy Ray and Janet are gone. And all of a sudden, this goat comes wandering into the road. I think you'll make it to Gertz? <sighs> Maybe. They're just getting started upstairs. <laughs> How's tonight's crop looking? <laughs> Pathetic. We only got... Mr. Moreau, Mr. Marcano, and the Southern Union, thank you for coming out tonight. Mr. Moreau has asked me to remind you that we're only accepting cash. And for an additional nominal fee, all purchases will be safely transported to a location of the buyer's choosing. Now, first up on the block is this lively specimen, freshly delivered from Haiti just this very morning. This piece of virile Nubian flesh in front of you speaks English and can be trained. Again, this is a fine specimen, no visible injuries or scars, and examined personally by Mr. Moreau's doctors. Please, just let me go. We'll start the bidding at $1,000. Do I hear $1,000? $1,000. Do I hear two? $2,000? You can't do this. $3,000 to the man in front. $3,000. Four. Do I hear five? Right here. 
Jess has got some niggas around side. Frisco. Just make it fucking quick, dig motherfucker. That's a big help. Thanks. Fucking hell! You dead, cocksucker! Follow me, you fucktards. Oh, damn! Run, Rabbit, run! Grabbing some cover! <sighs> Gotta change mags! Up. My pal Vito says y'all are well. some bad motherfuckers. Well, Vito ain't wrong. The thing is very, very right. I've got some time to give you a hand. None of us are bulletproof, this shit. Take him out of the car.
Hey, man. Hmm. How you doing, brother? I really don't give a shit. That cat must have took off. Another body! I think we got trouble. Huh? Couldn't find found a dead <laughs> waste of fuck. <laughs> oh, the fuck turn chicken on us. Where'd he get off to? What? Don't fuck!
I got a big ass fart I'm gonna share with you in a minute. Eh, whatever. Ain't this fun? Shoe fly. What the hell I just hear? Huh? Gotta huh? find that scary fuck. Fuck me! He's all yours, boys. <laughs> You've pulled down everything Moreau and those Southern Union sickos built up. Good. You can find Chester Moreau at the grocery store. How'd you find him? I had a hunch, so I sat on an apartment in the French ward that's listed under his youngest kid's name. Fucker's been holed up there. He slipped back into Frisco with some cronies in tow. I think he figures if Olivia doesn't get to him, you will. You all right? Fuck no. Those poor people. I've got an old friend from the State Department who's going to help them. But Moreau, Moreau, that asshole Remy Duval, they've got to answer for what they've done. All of it. They will. You have my word. Jesus, when I found out what they were doing, you have to stop Moreau. Mr. Moreau's offering $500 to the man who kills that cocksucker. That nigga be stupid to come around here. All these men, all these guns, fuck. His ass would be dead before he knew what hit him. Just keep that thing loaded. Last thing we should do is underestimate them. Guess we should.
I'm answering things. Eyes open here. Mr. Moreau says that nigger might be coming after us. Don't worry. If I see something, I holler. Damn it, he got another one! Where'd he get off to? Don't let nothing happen to me. What the shit was that? Take him down! My sights, motherfucker! <laughs>
took down Bel Air and Frisco Fields. Just so we're clear, we'll not be using this place to fucking sell people. Find another way to make money from it. No problem, pal. Help is on its way. Remy Duvall came from one of the most respected and wealthiest families in Louisiana. He invested in everything from oil wells to real estate, and he used his social status to get a radio program. Now, he used his radio show to preach about the collapse of polite society and the superiority of the Southern way of life. His family had been here for a couple of centuries, so his death was a shock. But even more shocking was the revelation that he was associated with the Southern Union, a group of wealthy racists who used their social positions to agitate against blacks. Remy Duval, he was crucified and then burned alive. How do you justify that type of behavior? Remy came from a long line of Southern cocksuckers, was always quick to trot out that war of Northern aggression and the South will rise again bullshit. Here's the thing about Remy. In 1965, he participated in the murder of four civil rights workers, one of whom they decapitated. They never found her head, so fuck him, he got what he deserved. Sounds like your assessment of Remy Duval was spot on. Listen to this. Look at what he's doing to us. Our neighborhood, our homes. I, for one, refuse to sit by and watch as some rubber-lipped nigger runs roughshod over everything we hold dear. And what is it you hope to accomplish? I will strangle that motherfucker! That's what I'll accomplish! I apologize. Shouldn't use that kind of language. He is egging you on, Rem. You are much too important to be caught up in all of this. Is the situation unfortunate? Of course it is. But nothing he is doing changes anything. Let Sal's men handle it. Sal's men? Olivia, the people of this neighborhood expect me to protect them, not some greased-up wop assholes. No, 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 I need to respond to this. He'd send a message to those niggas and the guineas that here in Frisco Fields, we take care of our own. This is a mistake, Remy. You could jeopardize everything we have been working toward. Our very way of life is at stake, and you think I give a goddamn about some casino? Sometimes I think you've forgotten your station in life, Olivia. A minute or so later, Olivia called Sal. Told him Remy's Southern Union pals were out looking for you. If you head back up there, I'm sure it won't be long before you run into some of them. Get them to tell you which hole Remy's hiding in. Yeah, once I'm done with that prick, Olivia's next. But getting to someone like her ain't gonna be easy. Between Marcano's men and all those rich white assholes she runs around with, they'll spot me coming a mile away. I need you to look at our options. Come up with a plan. Okay. I'm gonna look at our options and come up with a plan. What's wrong with you, man? 
Personal hygiene is very important. together a hunting party with the Union boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, We've got an armed Up near the old lookout point. Field. All units no. <laughs> oh, See how they came waltzing in, dicked out in their fancy white robes? Daddy. We 
stand here in the ruins of the last century. It was right in this spot where my great-great-great-grandfather joined his brothers in the defense of Louisiana against northern aggression. Now, he died in this spot to protect the virtues and the values of his people. He gave his life to uphold the liberty of his state and to hold back the ascension of the Mongol tide. How it is from that tide. One of their numbers is out there, right this very minute, slitting the throats of white men and women right now. I know what some of y'all are thinking. Yeah. Fuck this city, Remy. Oh. Fuck the dealers yeah. and the pushers. Fuck the thieves and the racketeers. Ah. Fuck the politicians ah. who take our vote. Ah. Ah. Don't care two shits about the common man. Huh? Fuck them, Remy. Fuck Three them, for him later. Hey, is that a gun? Get down! Get me some cover fire, Frisco. Nothing. On our way. Fixie 
in hand for Schofields as one of the city's most prominent citizens, Remy Duval, was savagely murdered. Witnesses report he was bound to a cross and set on fire. Let's see if we can get a statement from the police. Chief Wilson, you care to make a comment? It's those goddamn niggles. Every last one of them needs to be rounded up and shot. That's quite a statement, Chief. You need to wipe the shit out of your eyes, son. Take a look around. There's a goddamn war going on. Ha <laughs> ha. 